Mm. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. And um, where would I find her? For, uh... Uh, d uh, diplomatic purposes, you understand. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Thank you. Well, let's go find this hooker. I mean, consort. It's... Look. A shepherd has needs, alright? Doo -doo. I like that doorbell. It's a quality doorbell. Solid. Yeah. Welcome to the Presidium. Oh. Allow me to be your guide. Hello, Avina. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. Thank My you. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide it's throughout this level of the It's a very interesting virtual outfit you're wearing, Avina. Uh, are you real? Are you a real boy? So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous ah, yes, no, guidance of course. at predetermined yeah. locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. So I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. So this game makes the distinction between uh, virtual intelligence and artificial intelligence. So the Geth that we saw at the start of the game, those are AI, those are um, sentient machines. And... Uh, uh, VI, virtual intelligences, are, are similar, but they don't actually have sentience. Although, I think you can get some crazy instances where one becomes the other. Um, uh, no, I don't need help. I'll pass. I've played this before. I know what I'm doing. I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. I will. Have a nice day. Oh, alright. Snarky. What up? How are you doing? Just standing there. All right, cool. I enjoy standing. Standing's fun. Uh, we don't want to go to the CSAC Academy. Uh, we don't want to rapid trans uh, rapid transit anywhere. Whoa! Sorry, my mouse keeps spazzing out. Uh, he said over the bridge to find the Asari consort, right? Let's go find her first. So we're on, uh, if you remember the, oh, ah, hi Caden, um, if you remember when you when we saw the intro to this uh, station, there was the ring uh, at the sort of far end with the tower attached to it. The tower is the citadel tower that we're about to go and see, and this, we're on the presidium, it's the ring around that, um, and it's like a sort of, the, the all the stuff is on the inside, and it's got artificial sky, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, right. Uh, C-Sec, we're not going that way, we're going this way. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a keeper. That's what it is. Hello. My office rearranged five times now. Don't mind me. Five times? But why? What do they want? How should I know? Mm. It's not like keepers offer an explanation mm. for mm. what they're doing. Mm. 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 Okay. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and uh, the hell are you? So, uh, it's very frustrating, I know. Um, so the keepers are basically the janitors of the citadel. Now, nobody knows where they come from, what species they are. So, but everybody is just cool with the fact that they wander around keeping the station working. So, I don't know. Don't ask me. It seems mighty suspicious. I w I wouldn't do it. They don't seem like they're union. Um. Welcome, I am Nelina. Hello. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need an appointment? Don't you know who I am? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Uh, fine. Uh, my name is Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. With the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Ah, ah, are you kidding? Nobody's worth that much of a exactly. <laughs> word up. Well, that's not for me to judge. Play I on, have player. Your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? No. I think I'm done here. Yeah. Oh well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Hmm? Yes, Shaira? 
Send the commander up to see me. I oh. wish to speak with him. Hey, hey. Yes, of course, mistress. No waiting for the shepherd. Hey, hey. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Sure, let's Where go. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. This is just... This game is just digital butts. The video game. I'm not complaining, but let's go. Come on. Come on. We'll go get up the stairs. Right. Where do we... Ah, there we go. So this is the woman that's apparently compromised the uh, diplomat, the uh, the Elcor diplomat. So let's figure out how she did that. Hello. That is close enough, Commander. All right. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You're checking up on me? I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired oh. Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Like a dude? We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Oh, of course if you'd you say it that way. If you speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Uh, well, you're gonna have to give me more information. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. Well, then, maybe I'll do it if I maybe kind of find myself over there. But if you're not gonna give me the information, then... You're not going to get too much of a commitment here, lady. I don't make any promises, yeah. but I'll see what I can do. Yeah, maybe you, I'll that have a look. That is all I can ask. How much XP Appeal are you giving me for this? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can uh, convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Unwanted personal contact. I need an adult. Now uh, I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Well, you're very aloof. Ashley, kick her ass. Ashley, kick her ass. All right, fine, fine. My soldiers don't obey orders. Absolutely useless. Hello, don't mind me. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know how that Volus is going to do it. He's got a suit. Uh, right. Um. This is a nice place. Look at this. Ooh, statue. What's this? Ooh, ooh. Huh? Kidding? If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, Krogan? you might as well make it big, right? Ah, yes, the Krogan. Now, Avina, educate me. Drop a knowledge bomb. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal. The statue Lava. you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers mm -hmm. who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Rachni Wars. What were the Rachni Wars? Yeah. Nearly 2200 years ago, Explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. The name lets you know that they're not a cool. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race. Ugh. The Rachni unleashed a war Ugh. of conquest against Insects. the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. Jeez. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. Hey. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. It's a bit much, isn't it? Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, <laughs> but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Okay, bye-bye. That's all for now. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. You too, Avina. Now, what is that, you might be asking? This guy is a Hanar, I think? Basically, a walking, talking jellyfish. Ah, human. 
This one is greatly pleased to see you That's here in maybe my slightly bigoted of me. Personal question, what are you? Oh. <laughs> this one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What's up with the way you talk, dude? Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. Oh, snap. It is part of our culture. He burned you, Shepard. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. Okay. It is just our way. All right, fine. I think I should be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. This one's a bit strange looking. I mean, I'm not racist, but I mean, come on. It's a jellyfish. Guys. Ah, right, we should probably head over to the uh, the tower. Is that the... Where's the... That looks like the elevator up. Is that it up there? Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, we don't need to rapid travel. Uh, that's... There, there we go. We're on the right track. We're on the right track. Ooh! Look at that. A little model of a mass relay. Look at that. That's cool. A little scale model. What, Caden? What's interesting? Anyone else hear that low hum? Hmm? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. All right, guys. Shush. My teeth tingle. Nope. I'm not hearing it. I love that they built the statue and they made it like working. Look, the lights. They put like LEDs in. Look at that. It's, that's commitment, guys. That's commitment. Uh, right, let's go. Oh, look at the lighting. Bloody hell. Look at that. Those are some bright fucking lights. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's it. Soak up the skin cancer. Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Hey, Avina. Please do not disturb the keepers. Look at that bug thing. What's it doing? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. Okay. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower. One of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Right. But tell me about Behind that thing. Behind me oh. is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, That's, working yeah. on a control panel. That's a pretty good description you of them. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers right. are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. It's a bit harsh. So what do we actually know about the keepers? I'd like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Are they radio controlled? Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Uh, why? Why here? Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. Okay. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. All right. That's all for now. Let's go. Thank you for using Avena. Thanks. Have a pleasant day. You too. Let's go. Up to the tower we go. Come on, team. Whoop! They teleported! Again! Look at this. <laughs> Awkward, guys. You don't want to look at each other? Ooh! The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? Hmm? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador <laughs> No, we don't, sir. Look at each other when you're talking to each other. Jesus, that's so rude. I love this music. Oh, elevator music. So uh, this is a loading screen. 
basically. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally. F finally. Ugh. Yeah, this game is infamous for its... Uh, well, no, this game isn't infamous, but this game is well known for its elevators. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Evil Prime report. I was oh, I don't like this guy. But what can you expect from a human? Whoa! Getting all space racist. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked the Evil Prime. Your species. 